guys welcome back to my channel today i'm actually gonna do a video that's a little different than the content i have been putting out i'm gonna do um just like a hairstyle tutorial slash review kind of video today uh, the product i'm going to be talking about is this revlon blowout brush um it's pretty much just a hair dryer in the round brush in one and using this has like saved my life like this is a holy grail product you can use this to achieve like this perfect blowout look at home. Um, usually getting a blowout in my experience that looked like this kind of quality, you could only get at the salon or going to an expensive blow dry bar. It's just easy to use. And yeah, if you haven't tried it or you're watching this to consider, should I buy that? I definitely say, yes, you should buy this. It is $55 at retail. Um, which beats out all of its competitors. I know there's one on the market that's like close to $300 and don't get me wrong, I am the kind of person who will spend the money on quality. So if the one that was $300 was well worth the quality, I would definitely be buying that one. But I did a lot of research before I purchased this and I saw that this worked equal, if not better than the really expensive ones. So. So if you're interested to see how I achieve this perfect blowout look, go ahead and keep watching. I'm gonna take you through the prep stage because that is obviously really important. And then after the prep, I'm just gonna show you how I use the brush and the techniques I use in the video. All right guys, so to do the perfect blowout, you're gonna need a few products. Um, it actually all starts in the shower, so make sure you wash and condition your hair. Um, I have color treated hair, so it's a little more dry. Um, so every time I get out of the shower, the first thing I do is I always use like a leave-in conditioner to spray on my wet hair just to detangle it. Um, I've been loving that It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. This is just so hydrating. I love this. I've probably gone through about four of these. So after I take my hair out of the towel, you can see it looks like like what I like to call a rat's nest because it is, it just looks like super tangly and dry. Um, my hair is very fine, so it's always been like that, but I usually just take my It's A 10, spray it in my hand because uh, the applicator on this, it's like chunky. I don't like the way it doesn't like evenly distribute in my hair. Um, so then I'll like apply this to the ends and like the mid shaft area, making sure I'm getting like the front pieces as well. All right, so after I have that all distributed through my hair, I am going to just use a comb. I'm going to comb through my wet hair. I never like to brush wet hair. I feel like that just like causes breakage and split ends. So even though this takes longer, I do like to take the time to comb it all out. Okay, so after I pretty much have all my hair combed out, I do use a brush to do the part. And I always like to do a middle part whenever I do these blowouts because, um, I feel like it gives my hair more volume because if I start in the middle and then after it's parted and I've done the blowout, I can like flip it from side to side and it has that volume. All right, so once I pretty much have all of my hair brushed out and it is still damp, um, I usually like to go in with like some kind of serum or like a blowout cream type product. So the one I'm gonna use today is actually called Glotion Potion. It is by a brand Keratin Complex. Um, I got this at Visible Changes. Um, that's where I get my hair done. I love Visible Changes. I think that their hair products are so high quality and I've been getting my highlights there since I was like 15 years old. This is just like a great styling oil to use before you give yourself like a blowout like this because all that heat obviously isn't good for your hair. So I just did like two, three pumps of this and then I kind of just like to like work it through the ends of my hair and making sure I'm getting those like front pieces. I have a lot of like, like shorter front pieces that I don't know if it's just from breakage, but they need some extra TLC. Okay, the next product I'm gonna use is a volumizer. Um, it's like a botifying mousse, as it says. This is also for visible changes. I love this mousse. It is such high quality for a great price. In my opinion, this is probably one of the most important elements to achieving like the perfect blowout. You need a really good volumizing mousse um, to really give yourself that body, especially if you have flatter hair like I do since my hair is very fine and on the thinner side. Um, 
I really need that extra help from something like this to sit on my roots and give me that volume that I want when I do some, a hairstyle like this. I'm just gonna shake this up and I don't do too much, probably just like about that much. And I'm going to spread this out on my hands, focusing it at like the fingertips. And then all I do is like just go in and I kind of just go like that. Sometimes I'll even like flip my head over to like get underneath, like around like the crown of my head. Keep that part down here. All right, so I have my clip. And I'm just gonna section my hair. Usually start by doing the bottom first. Okay, and then I pull all the hair to the front like this. And then I just go in with my brush. It heats up really fast, so usually I just start right away. It has um, three settings, cool, low, and high. I always do high. finish the bottom section and I will say that this tool works really really well if you have layers in your hair um, if you don't have layers in your hair it's all just gonna kind of look like like one length I don't know um, if you're really going for that like perfect blowout look like you see on like I don't know models and stuff like that like you're definitely better off if you have some layers in your hair um, so after I do the bottom section, I pull my hair into two sections and then I do this side and then I do this side. All right, so I just finished up on this side. You can already see that like my layers give it like really good dimension. So I feel like this side looks so, so cute with like this part, it's just like wispy. I love this thing so much. You can see when I'm like doing my hair, as I pull away, I'll hold it at the root for about a few seconds. Um, usually how I'll start like a, a section, I'll start the section by just like going over it a few times with the brush just to make sure that any tangles are worked out and then after I do that I will hold the brush at the root for a few seconds and then as I pull closer to the end I'm going to be wrapping it and wrapping it and kind of just holding it in like that position continuing the movement to keep the heat flowing and then usually once I'm about done I'll hold it there for a second and then I just like let it go that's gonna give you that little flip to the ends um, I've noticed that if you use the brush and you don't like focus on the ends and you don't focus on rolling it, it will, your finished product is going to be like more like of a straight hair. Your hair is going to look more straight. It's not going to have like the, that flip to it at the bottom. So definitely while you're using it, um, follow that technique, just run it through a few times, make sure you're holding it at the root to give that volume there. And then once you're pulling it to the end, twist on the ends and hold it for a little bit to give it that, uh, little bit of wave that you're going to want to get from like, if you want the blowout look, that's the technique you're going to want to use. and I think it looks really really good um this is definitely like I said earlier holy grail product to finish this look I usually would just take some hairspray um I use this Sebastian one I love this it holds really really well kind of like So that is gonna be the finished look. I hope you guys found this video useful. I will link all the products I use below 
because just in case y'all want to check them out, definitely check out this Revlon brush. It's amazing. Please give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like to see content like this. Um, usually I do more like family focused videos, but I do enjoy doing content like this as well because um, like hair, makeup, like that's something I am passionate about. So yeah, if you watched this far, thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.